How's it going, guys? My name is TJP, and today we're rebuilding another Mayan. We're rebuilding another team in the NBA. Another Mayan NBA rebuild. Now, I was supposed to do this rebuild uh, today, but it got pushed back a day because I accidentally deleted the footage. So I'm redoing it. I'm rebu I'm redoing the rebuild of the Bucks. Um, so uh, if you guys didn't check it out, I mentioned it in my Timberwolves rebuild at the beginning of the video that I accidentally. Uh, deleted my footage, so uh, we're gonna be rebuilding them today, uh, the Bucks. So no big deal. It is what it is. We'll do West East West East this time. But if you guys want to leave a like, subscribe, that'd be awesome. Also check out my Twitch, Twitter, Discord in the description, as well as seeing that playlist down there, which has my other my NBA and my WNBA rebuilds. With that being said, let's just get on to the video. Okay, so here we are. I loaded up the Bucks roster again. Um, like I said before redoing it so kind of having a little bit of an idea of what the what, what I, I need to do now so it's a little bit cheating but you know what it is what it is <clears throat> there's still a chance that uh someone walks here because uh, he does he doesn't he doesn't usually like to resign back anyway so we'll have to try our best to get Giannis uh, keep Giannis around obviously Chris Middleton's around you know, Drew Holiday Brooke Lopez Don DiGi Vincenzo Bobby Portis um I might look to flip DJ Augustine uh I want to get a better point guard um we also have a bunch of shooting guards so i want to flip a couple of those guys and a bunch of small forwards uh maybe get some bigs and some better point guards so i'm gonna make a couple moves and i'll see you guys once i make those moves All right, i'm gonna do this deal with the hawks we're gonna give up Bryn forms and pat connington we're gonna get uh chris dunn and brandon goodwin so two more point guards i'll probably flip dj augustine maybe see if i can get an upgrade as well at the point guard um now we'll have four point guards but that's i'm fine with that so we're gonna do this move um Chris Dunn also maybe we can keep him around who knows maybe he'll develop all right so I'm gonna do this deal with the uh Wizards we're gonna get Robin Lopez and Ronald Neto both expiring contracts uh we do have to get Jordan Nora who was drafted I guess and then DJ Augustine who uh has a three-year deal so I kind of don't really want that anyway so we're gonna take these two guys on and uh go from there so I mean honestly in terms of like the rest of the team I guess we'll rock with uh I think we'll rock with what we have here. We have 3, 6, 10. Yeah. Can I sign a... F Maybe if, unless... No, I can't sign a free agent. Yeah, we're, 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 we have too many people. Unless I can trade, like, Trevion Graham and Thanasis on Tentacumba for, like, picks. But even then, like, I can't. So, I mean, yeah, there's really not any good offers there. So, nothing too game changer. Um, we're just going to rock with the way this team is. Chris Dunn will be our point guard. Drew Holiday, shooting guard. Chris Middleton, small forward, power forward, Giannis, center, Brooke Lopez. Um, and then Dante G. Vincenzo, Bobby Portis, Tori Craig, Robin Lopez, and Raul Neto off the bench uh, getting minutes. So, decent team. Nothing too special, but um, I'm going to simulate to the um, end of the season, uh, to the trade deadline, sorry. And I'll see you guys uh when I get there. All right, so we're at the trade deadline. I'm not really liking our team. We're only 29 and 24 yet. Somehow we're the fourth seed. Um, so maybe the East is terrible. I don't know. I actually kind of want to take a quick look at these standings. Um, yeah, the East is terrible, except f basically everyone is like relatively around the same record, except for the Sixers. So clearly the Sixers are the best team, um, which is interesting. Uh, but in terms of, uh, like, our stats and stuff, I know we had a couple injuries. I know Giannis got hurt, actually, for a little bit. Um, and he's hurt now. So, uh, definitely doesn't help. And Chris Middleton is hurt as well. So that's really, really bad, um, considering if we want to do some stuff. But, I mean, these are the rest of the stats. For the most part, everyone's doing okay. A couple of these guys are not happy. Um, I'm a little nervous because I, I don't know how long, like, this is making me nervous a little bit. So I'm going to hope for the best. Um, but considering what we've got here, I don't know if I can even really make a move. Um, but I'll, I'll look for a couple offers. But if anything, I'll just see you guys at the end of the season. I'm going to make this one move with the uh, Atlanta Hawks. We're going to give up a second round pick and Justin Patton. But we're going to get Bruno Fernando. So maybe a slight upgrade at the center. And also... Justin Patton was heated, so that, that doesn't help either. All right, LeBron James was the MVP. James Wiseman, Rookie of the Year. Spencer Dinwiddie, Sixth Man of the Year. Defense Player of the Year goes to Giannis. That's nice to see. 28 points, 14 rebounds, 5.5 assists, 1.3 steals, 1.8 blocks a game, 51% from the field, 66.4% of the line, 31 from the three. 
We were the sixth seed, by the way. John Morant, most improved player, had a nice year. And then Doc Rivers, coach of the year for the Sixers. Then 47-35, uh, Cody Toole. I don't know who he's the GM for, but also All-NBA first team, Giannis. That's great to see. Uh, All-NBA second team and All-NBA third team, no other Bucks. Giannis also obviously got All-Defensive. That's not a surprise. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, we were the sixth seed, but I want to take a look at the stats before we get into the playoffs here. So, uh, Drew Holiday is hurt, but he should be back uh, for the series. Probably plays day-to-day. Uh, so, yeah, Giannis had a great year. Chris Middleton did his thing out there. Um, Drew Holiday, Bobby Portis, um, Brooke Lopez. Okay, so we've got, like, five guys, almost six guys averaging double figures. That's nice to see. Um, looks like everyone except for Jalen Adams is happy. So I can't really trade Jalen Adams, and even if I wanted to, I couldn't. I'm going to throw myself in the top right corner. That way you guys can see everything. So yeah, taking on the Boston Celtics first round. I don't know how this is going to really work out for us, but coaching game plan, that's what we're going with. So uh, hopefully Drew Holiday comes back and we can play him. So we're going to simulate game one. They beat us. Game two. Are we tied up to series at 1-1? Can we go up 2-1? We're up 2-1. Can we go up 3-1? We can. Come on, let's beat them. Yes, all right, we're going to the, we're going to the Easter Conference semifinals. Uh, we're taking on the Miami Heat, the number two seed. They have a good squad. They definitely have a good squad, but we beat them in first game by four. They blew us out in the second game. Game three, we are up 2-1. Can we stay up and go 3-1? No, they tied up the series. All right, 3-2. Can we go up? Yes, we are going to the Easter Conference finals. Let's go. I'm happy about that. And we're taking on the fifth seed Hawks as they upset the uh, Philadelphia 76ers, so that's nice to see. I guess. Um, coaching game plan. Let's just make sure everything's all good here. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, it is. All right, game one. We win. Okay, game two. All right, we're up 2 0. Let's go up 3 0. All right, 2 1, 2 1. Oh, they tied up the series. What's going on here? All right, 3 2. We're up 3 2. What is, uh, what's, uh, how are we looking? Everyone's good. Everyone's good. All right. I think. We're in the NBA Finals. I didn't get the sim cast, but we are in the NBA Finals. We're taking on the eight seeded Dallas Mavericks. Okay, this is an interesting. This is interesting. All right, simulate. We're simulating. Game one. We we're up one nothing on them. We blew them out too. We're up two zero. We're up three zero. Base drop. Always come and go. First season. We barely made any moves, and we win the championship. That's what I'm saying. Like, 2K simulation doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sense. There are times where, like, we, we, we I get completely screwed over, and then there's times like this where I just... We just win. So I'm happy about that. We actually, we actually succeeded in our first season. Um, let's try to repeat. I think I'm going to do this deal... I want to do this deal just to save cap. Do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? Be a dirty deal to do, especially after winning a championship. But I think Brooke Lopez might decline. We get Miles Turner. I'd imagine will increase. So we're going to do this deal. We're going to do that deal with the Pacers. We're going to get TJ Warren and Miles Turner. Um, that, that is an interesting deal that we're doing. We got Matt McClung. Wow. Okay. That is interesting. Uh, who has seen the day. Also, Drew Holiday accepted his player option. That is, that is interesting. Bobby Porter declined his. Dante Jr. is going to accept. And Chris Dunn declined his. Not surprised. Uh, our main priority is probably just re-signing Giannis. I mean, literally. Uh, I'm not going to extend any of these guys. Uh, they can just, whatever. Um... All right, Giannis. Can we get Giannis? It'd be great if we can get Giannis back. I mean, we can go over the cap to sign him. I would imagine... I would imagine... He'll want to come back. Let's fucking go! Yes! There we go! All right. Don't really care. We got Giannis. Um... We needed to do... We, we, we did what we needed to do. We got Giannis back. Actually, can I cap hold Bobby Portis and... 
and Chris Dunn. I mean, these guys, I don't need to cap. Like, they can walk, I guess. But Chris Dunn and Bobby Porter, I would like to hold on to them. Okay, so we kept Giannis. Okay, Chris Dunn, we can offer Chris Dunn. Where's Bobby Portis? Do we have Bobby Portis' rights? I don't think we do. But it seems like we could still offer him a, a contract. I'm going to hope we can. There we go. We got the team back together, babies. Um, in terms of roster moves, I mean, point guards. We have three shooting guards already, which is good. Um, small forwards, we need some small forwards, we need another center. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just fill out the rest of the roster, I'll see you guys at the start of the season. <laughs> Alright, here we are, we're at the start of the second season, and, uh, let me just show you guys what I've done. So obviously we have Giannis back, TJ Warren is uncertain for some odd reason, I don't know why. Um, but, okay. Dante G. Vincenzo, Miles Turner, Drew Holiday, uh, Bobby Portis, um... Chris Dunn, Reggie Jackson, Tori Craig, David Nwab. I mean, we've got some guys. We've got some guys. I actually might look to make some moves. And, and, and a lot of these guys are expiring. So we could pair up Giannis with another superstar potentially in free agency. I'm excited for that. That is the goal. Um, so, I mean, honestly, for the most part, the team's looking pretty good. The team's looking pretty good. Um, I mean, this is the roster. We made a couple minimum signings. I mean, we got, like, Reggie Jackson, uh, Avery Bradley, David Nwaba, Boban, right? So, uh, for the most part, decent. Um, I'd expect this to be around the same as last year, so I'm just gonna simulate to the trade deadline and see if I want to make a move. Alright, we're 31-25. and 25. We're at the trade deadline. We're at 6C. Not too bad. Um, in terms of player stats, Giannis is having such a good season. Averaging 32 points, 15 rebounds, 5.5 assists. Guy is incredible. The guy is incredible. Um, TJ Warren is annoyed, um, so I might look to flip him. We uh, re-signed Drew Holiday on such a cheap deal. I'm happy about that. Um, but other than that, I mean, everyone else is... Besides TJ Warren, I mean, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven guys having double figures. Um, but yeah, um, I might look to make a couple moves. Uh, maybe like flip TJ Warren. I just want to see what I can get for him. So I'm going to like look for like an offer or two. Since I'm probably not going to be able to re-sign him. All right, so I'm going to do this deal with the Warriors. Um, just because we can get a small forward and a shooting guard just like straight up. So I'm going to do this deal. We have to give up a second round pick, but I'm cool with that. Um, Kelly Oubre, we might flip in the offseason, but we'll see. Uh, he's a nice piece to have as well. Um, there might be one more trade that I want to do, possibly. Like, Bruno Fernando is uncertain. Like, if I can get someone better for him, like, or just something for him that's, like, of decent value, like, I will definitely do it. But none of these trades are really, like, that appetizing. I mean, unless I flip him to, like, the OKC Thunder for a pick. Could do that, but... Um, and then maybe sign a free agent. Could do that, could do that. But I think I'm going to ride it out with him. Uh, considering that he... Is he on a team option? He's not, but it's fine. We're just going to ride out the team. Uh, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Alright, Luka Doncic was the uh, most valuable player. Katie Cunningham was the Rookie of the Year. Sixth man of the Year. Spencer Dinwiddie. Anthony Davis, Defense Player of the Year. Most Improved Lamella Ball. Coach of the Year, Tom Thibodeau. And Zachary Staples was the executive of the year. Giannis made all NBA first team. Okay, I apologize for that. So, yeah, Giannis was the uh, on all NBA first team. He had a really good season, as you can see here. 31.4 points, 14.2 rebounds, 5.5 assists. Uh, shot the ball, you know, pretty well. He shot it better than last season. Uh, so that's great. Um, his efficiency went down a little bit. But other than that, I mean, he had a great season. All NBA second team and All NBA third team, no bucks. Uh, all defensive second team, also. Oh, Giannis didn't make all defensive. That's weird. But Chris Dunn did. That's nice to see. Chris Dunn uh, making all uh, defensive second team. So he was actually kind of a decent trade. I mean, you know, that's pretty good. He had 1.8 steals a game. That's pretty good defense in terms of just simple stats. But I'm sure, like, the advanced stats, if we really wanted to look at those, those would be pretty good too. Um, rookies, we don't have any, so don't really care about them. We were the fifth seed. We're taking on Toronto, fourth seed in the uh, in the in the playoffs. Um, but yeah, here are the stats here. So Kelly Oubre did his thing. Miles Turner 
is happy with the squad. Drew Holiday fractures legs. So that's unfortunate. But Dante DiVincenzo is um, probably starting anyway. Um, Bobby Portis kind of doing his thing. So we got six guys, seven guys having double figures. So good season from everybody here for the most part. And uh, yeah, so let's just uh, simulate uh, this uh, round against the Toronto Raptors, taking them on in the first round. Game one, uh, we beat them by 10. Game two, we beat them by 19. Game three, they beat us by nine. Game four, we beat them again by one. And we are not going to the second round just yet. Please don't blow a 3-1 lead. We don't. And we're taking on the one seed in Knicks, who, yeah, Tom Thibodeau did a great job with the Knicks. Uh, that's good for them. So that should be interesting. I wonder how this is going to actually uh, happen. All right, let's see. They won by six in the first game, game two. We tie up the series. Can we go up 2-1? Yes, we can. Can we go up 3-1 on the Knicks? Okay, 2-2. Two, two. 3-2 them. Okay, let's take a look here and see what's going on. The Magic are in the uh, finals here, which is nice to see, I guess, from them. They, they seem to always be in the conference finals. Like, they always seem, for some reason, just be really good in the simulation. But I assume with SimCast, just because. See what happens here. Uh, quarter one goes to us. Uh, we tied quarter two. It's a back-and-forth game. Really, really close. And it looks like we are forcing a game seven. Uh, and Molly Rose bucks too much. That is very insightful reporting there, Molly. All right. We are up in the first quarter. They beat us in the second. They beat us in the third. And it looks like we are going to get eliminated in round two in seven games. Put up a nice fight as the Mag Mavericks uh, beat the Knicks in the NBA Finals. And Luka Doncic, what a finals performance he had. 40-point triple-double. Was the uh, MVP well-deserved. Um... This offseason might get interesting, so let's see what we could do in this offseason, and uh, I will see you guys once I get there. Okay, so there's a couple deals that I'm looking at here. Hey, this is the first deal. This gives us a lot of cap. Right, we, we get rid of 36, 22, so that frees up 48 million, which will give us enough for a max slot. And we get a nice high pick, or just about, you know, we'll have to trade a few more guys. But, or I could take the risk and go for Clay Thompson and Alex Len. That is a tough decision. That is, this is a tough decision. Um, I think I'm going to do this deal, though. We're going to take the risk on the pick. We're going we're gonna to risk trying to sign someone in free agency. That's what we're going to risk. We're going to risk doing that. Um, also, pick five is great. I mean, granted, we could actually... What could we get for pick five? All right, I'm just going to keep pick five. I'll let, you know, I'm just going to let... I'm just going to let the... We're just going to draft Keith Martin, I guess. I mean, I'm cool with that. Um, no team options. Do we have... I think we have some qualifying offers. Dante Givincenzo and Bruno Fernando will we'll extend them offers. In terms of moratorium, we've got KD, we've got Harden, we've got Curry... I would love to have Stephen Curry on the team personally, but I'd be okay with any of these guys. And here's the thing, right? So if I look at our roster right now, I don't think we have enough space. And I can't flip Drew Holiday, unfortunately, because he's hurt. So um, in terms of money, how much money do I actually have? I need to free up $20 million. So I'm going to free up $20 million right now. Right, I'm going to do this deal with the Bulls. We're going to get Daniel Gafford for Bobby Portis, Chris Dunn. We also get a pick, uh, top three protected pick. Not too bad of an offer, uh, but it does clear up a lot of cap for us, which we, we, we kind of need to do. Um, so that's trade number one. Now let's see what I can get for Reggie Jackson and DJ Wilson. What can I get for them? Honestly, like I'll take anything. Like I'll take like the cheapest deal. That's perfect. Uh, yeah, let's do that. All right, we've got money. We've got money to spend. We've got, we've got a Katie. We've got a, we've got a James Hart, and we have a Stephen Curry on the team. So, chances are Harden's gonna, I, I feel like chances are all these guys are gonna go back to their teams, except for Curry. I think we can get Stephen Curry. I actually think we can get Stephen Curry. Although... KD, well, I don't have enough, what, 
Why? Okay. Oh, dude, it's glitching again, isn't it? That's why. God damn. All right, Harden wanted a freaking monster offer. All right, you're going to get that. You're going to like it. All right. So they look like they want to sign. I'm going to try to get Curry. Curry for 41 million? We get Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry on the squad. Let's friggin' go. I, I, I have to renounce the rights, I guess, on uh, all these guys. But you know what? It is what it is. I would rather have Stephen Curry over anybody here. Now, here's the thing. I don't think I actually renounced a right on Dante DiVincenzo. I think I could still get him back. No, I can't. All right, well, we lost Dante DiVincenzo. But you know what? We got Stephen Curry. I'm cool with that. Um, <laughs> Milwaukee Bucks fans probably hate me, uh, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to sign a couple guys, uh, or a lot of guys, actually. Fill out the rest of the roster. I'll probably look to flip, like, Drew Holiday, maybe, just because he's hurt and stuff. And then I'll see you guys, if I can, assuming he's healthy. And uh, I'll see you guys once I'm done making moves. All right, so we were at the start of the third and final season. So let's take a look at what our roster's looking like. So we got Giannis, Curry, Tristan Wood, uh, Keith Martin, Daniel Gafford, Matt Thomas, Quinn Cook, Damian Dotson, Isaiah Thomas, George Nang, Mike Scott, Jake Lehman, Tory Craig, Boban. And Drew Holiday is still hurt, so I can't trade him. Um, but uh, probably have to flip him at the deadline just because. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm just going to rock with the team the way it is. The bench is not looking that great. And honestly, really besides Giannis and Curry, team is uh, not that great. <laughs> but it's the risk I took with signing uh, Curry. So I'm just going to simulate your trade deadline, see how we're doing. And then if I have to make a move, I'll make a move. All right, we're at the trade deadline. We're actually terrible. <laughs> Not a surprise because we don't have a bench, but um, and I and I would imagine I would I would think we probably had an injury or two, maybe not. We'll see. Giannis is Giannis hurt? I don't even know what our, what is our record. Curry got hurt a little bit. Okay, so that doesn't help. Yeah, we had a few injuries, but Curry and Giannis are having a great great seasons, uh, which is nice to see. Christian Wood is doing okay. Isaiah Thomas, um. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, five people averaging over nearly six with uh, and seven, I guess. Uh, a few of these guys are fed up uh, for whatever reason. I want to see if I can actually just make the team better, but I, I don't know. I'm just going to look for some trades, and I'll if I, if I make a move, I'll show you guys. Okay, I'm going to do this move with the Boston Celtics. I'm going to get Mitchell Robinson and Carson Edwards. Um, I'm just going to do that new people, new faces, maybe clear up the chemistry. Um, so I'm, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. And maybe he could play really well alongside uh, Christian Wood. Well, Christian Wood's not even starting, but um, I'm going to look to see if I can flip Drew um, and a couple other of these pieces just to see if we can get some better better bench players. I'm going to do this deal with the Lakers. I'm going to get Royce O'Neal and Harry Giles on the squad for Drew Holiday, Boban, and Torrey Craig. Uh, I feel like they might play more minutes than some of these guys. So, except for Drew Holiday. I mean, Drew Holiday's obviously had a good year, good season, but I just think that because he's declined so much, we have to just flip him. All right, so I desperately need shooting guards. Um, so, I, I'm going to do this deal with the Bulls. Uh, we're going to get Duncan Robinson and Jeremy Lamb. Uh, I do have to go with Christian Wood. But uh, I do need shooting guards, so hopefully this could help us out. We have to give a second round pick, but I don't really care. Uh, I'm just going to sign a couple of minimum free agent, free agent guys, I guess, because uh, I think we still need an extra shooting guard and power forward. So honestly, I'm just going to take, uh, we'll take Caleb Martin minimum, and then power forwards, who's out there that's willing, that young. All right, cool. I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do. So new lineup, Curry, Robinson, Keith Martin, Giannis, Mitchell Robinson, Jeremy Lamb, Quinn Cook, Carson Edwards, Harry Giles, George Nyang. Um, I'm hoping that this, uh, this might help out, but if it doesn't, it is what it is. 
Alrighty, Giannis Antetokounmpo was the MVP. Wow. 28.6, like about 15 and a half rebounds, nearly 6 assists, 1.3 steals, 1.4 blocks. He had a good year. Great year. MVP, obviously. Zach Bird was the rookie of the year. Kobe White, sixth man of the year. Defense player goes to Jonathan Isaac. Most improved goes to Kyra Luce Jr. Mike Malone, coach of the year. Uh, and then Anthony Adams, executive of the year. So Giannis obviously made an all-NBA first team. Not a surprise. Uh, other than that, are we going to have any more bucks? Good. Stephen Curry's here. Averaging 26.3 points. Nine assists, nearly. How did he? And five rebounds as well. He had a great season as well. Shot 46% from three. 46.4%. That is a career high if I'm if I've ever seen one. So Steph Curry, all NBA thirteen. That's great to see. Uh, Giannis obviously made all defensive first team. Not a surprise there. Um, Keith Martin, our rookie, all rookie first team, averaged about ten points, nearly four rebounds, a three and a half assist. So good stuff from him. Um, and that's pretty much it. We were the eight seed. Uh, you guys can't see because I'm blocking it, but it's fine. You guys can see it here. We were forty four and thirty eight. Uh, so we, we, those moves might've helped us a little bit to get us into the playoffs. So we're taking on the Knicks in the first round. They're probably going to beat us, but, uh, here are the stats. If you guys are curious, Giannis and Curry basically leading the way. Harry Giles, uh, doing his thing. Quinn Cook, Keith Martin, Carson Edwards, Jeremy Lamb. I mean, you know, for the most part, everyone's doing their thing. Um, yeah, if you guys want to see those stats more in depth, you guys can pause. Uh, we're taking on the Knicks. Um, I don't know how good we're going to be, but we'll see. We won the first game against them. We're up 2-0 against them. We're going to sweep them, probably, and we swept them. Okay, so we're going to the second round. Uh, that is interesting. We're taking on the fifth-seeded Celtics. Uh, game 1, Boston wins. Game 2, we win. Can we go up 2-1? We go up 2-1. Can we go up 3-1? Wow. We're in the conference finals at an 8-seed. Okay, okay. Taking on the two-seeded Magic. The two-seeded Magic, cheat code, cheat code, baby. Uh, Magic win the first game. Can they win the second game? They do. Are they going to win the third game? No, we win game three. Can we win game four? All right, we're down 3-1. We're down 3-1. Harry Giles is hurt. Uh, I'm going to do my coaching game plan, fix that up, and I'm also going to do the system proficiency. Uh, defense is, I guess, our best. All right, so we're just going to keep it a de defense. So we're going to sim with Simcast. See if we we can come back. Magic are up. Yeah, they're blowing us out. Uh, not really. Well, yeah, they beat us by three points. Okay, or six points. So, got to the conference finals in the last season. Magic win the championship. Cole Anthony, finals MVP. Uh, and he's really good for an 81 overall. Um... And that's going to be it. All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, My NBA Rebuild. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Comment down below some more future rebuilding ideas, as well as taking a look at the description, which has my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and a playlist containing all my My NBA and My WAB Rebuilds. With that being said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Take care, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.